One of the things that I love being out in nature and seeing the world like this is that no matter where I look, that if I take my time, I look close enough, I look carefully enough, I can see beauty in almost anything that I see, whether it's a blade of grass, it's the earth, it's a plant, a tree, the sunlight, a river running by me, I can very easily find the beauty in front of me. And one of the things that I know about the nature of all things, the nature of life within me, born to be social, born to be sexual, born to be an expression of myself, authenticity, is that beauty is in all things. It's in every single moment. It's in every tragedy, it's in every heartache, it's in every moment of bliss, every act of love. But it is my job to be able to find that beauty. And is a young man or when we're a little bit spiritually out of whack or we haven't really seen you know a lot of good things in our life we may need moments of bliss and ecstasy to believe in that beauty and to have that hope and that possibility of it but the true journey and the true journey that i try and live on and am challenged at every day is to be able to find that beauty in every single moment and i wanted to talk today about the principle of acceptance and the reason actually why this got brought up was because in one of my groups, we were talking on the phone and I was pissed off because I couldn't create certain things. I was trying to control stuff. I was trying to meet a deadline, really force myself to work when I was tired and wasn't able to think and wasn't really able to express. And the group said back to me, and this is actually one of the great things about TSL is that we're all a big community. And even though I founded it, for those of you that have been on it, know how open and honest and how much I actually use the group is that they said, man, well, what do you think about resistance and acceptance? And I thought, man, there's actually a lot I could say about it. And it's been a huge part of my life and discovering myself and happiness and healing myself from tragedy and finding the beauty in my life. And I started thinking, you know, we were, we were talking about it and it went on for about an hour. And actually after that call, I was, uh, you know, I felt a lot better and came to this acceptance that I need to rest and probably not push myself so hard. But it made me think, it made me think of how important that is and how much as men, as women, as we want things, as we want to control things in our life. And I don't want to make this about religion or spirituality in that sense. I want it to make it, a, I want to make it about how we see the world and how we live in it, how we live in this awesome principle and this awesome journey where we get to be a part of life. And in fact, when it comes to spirituality, I, I don't know what God is. I don't believe in a specific God or religion or anything like that. But there is an amazing world that we're a part of that came out of dust, that came out of carbon, that moved together to fit this crazy orchestration where I get to exist and make choices and have an interaction within it that is bigger within me. And because it is bigger within me and because I literally can't fight it, there's physiology in my body that I do not have control over, there's a whole world outside of me that I do not have control over that I choose to live within. And in that moment, there is so much power, so much empowerment of self that oftentimes we forget. And we forget about making that choice. We forget about being that expression. And we decide not to accept and we decide to fight all the time. Now, bringing this back to acceptance and choice and who I am today. What I know is that when I can see the world around me, when I can see and pursue the beauty in my life and have faith that it's there and focus on that and get out of the blame, get out of the anger, get out of the resentment, get out of the control that I try and find within the challenge of myself, within not being able to see it, whether it's I've had lack of sleep, whether I've been oppressed, whether a tragedy has happened to me, whether it was an assault, something being taken away from me, or even my freedom being limited. All these things which has happened to me. I have found that if I stop making it about me and stop making it about the fight and start making it about what I can see, what I can do, what I can actually have choice over, and what I can accept in this world around me and choose to be the expression about who I am, I can be happy. I can be happy within chaos, and I can find beauty, love, compassion, 
and a sense of self within whatever hell or heaven that is around me. And what I've proven to myself over the years is that if I am not in sync with that, if I am at war with that, I can get to a point where I've literally had $20,000 cash in my hands, had many women in my life, all sorts of different experiences, and all the validation I could ever want. Yet I only wanted more. I was unsatisfied and I was unhappy. And I created a hell out of this heaven. And so one of the greatest things that you can learn and one of the greatest things that you can do is not just find the beauty that is around you immediately, but how can we accept in this great world? How can we find the acceptance in this beautiful world that's around us all the time, every moment that's happening, every person in front of you, whether we perceive it as good or bad, whether we perceive it as evil, tragedy, or love, how can we see that moment as an expression, a lesson, and an act of love that we're having with the world? Make that choice today, if you can. As I said, I have trouble with it all the time, but hey, that's why we're all trying to live the sexual life.